In this video, we're going to discuss the law of signs, and we're going to do the second case. In our previous videos, we already saw, we already saw this case, which was angle, angle, side, or angle, side, angle. We saw that in previous, previous videos, and now we're going to do this case, which is two sides and an angle opposite one of the sides. Okay, when you have two sides of a triangle and an angle opposite one of the sides, we call this the side-side angle case. And this case, you have to be really careful. It's called the ambiguous one. Why? Because three things can happen when we have these kinds of triangles. It can happen that I end up with no triangle existing. I, it can also happen that I end up with exactly one triangle existing. And I can also end up with having two triangles that will exist both with these measurements. Okay, so we have to be really careful when we have side, side, angle. And I'm going to walk you through this example and tell you where you have to be careful and where you have to check and why. Okay, we will have three videos on this topic. We will see one example where the triangle doesn't exist and an example where exactly one triangle exists and the last example will be when two triangles are possible for the given measurements. Okay, so let's start with this example. Let's grab a triangle here and label it. Let's label our triangle with the information that is given. Oh, sorry about that. And let's start. Okay, for this triangle, I'm going to label A, B, C. And let's label what we have. The measure of angle C, that's 65. And we have side B equals 10 and side C equals 6. Okay? And that's all we have. So we can use, notice I have side, side, angle. Okay, so whenever that comes up, very careful. Let's start using the sign law. I have C. I, I know what C is and I know what the angle C is. So I can use this ratio C sine of C and I will equal it to B sine of B because I don't have angle B but I do have side B. If I choose A, I don't have either angle A or side A. So that would give me two unknowns, one equation. I won't be able to solve it, okay? So I'm going to use B sine B. And once we've established this equation, you fill in your information. Side C is 6, and sine of angle C is the sine of 65 degrees. And that equals B, which is 10 and the sine of angle B. Okay? So now we have to uh, solve for sine of B because we're interested in this angle. So this is what I do. I'm going to cross multiply here and cross multiply that way. On this side, I'll end up with 6 sine of angle B equal to 10 sine of 65 degrees. To isolate sine of B, I divide by 6 on both sides. And on this side, you'll end up with sine of B equals 10 sine of 65 divided by 6. Okay? And with your calculator in degree mode, when you calculate this, you get that the sine of angle B is equal to one point. 511. Now, here is where you have to be careful. When you find that first angle, you have to stop. You stop right here, and this is what you ask yourself. You're going to say, hmm, can this be true? Can I have a sine of an angle equal 1.511? Now, if you remember, from your trigonometric graphs, from your trig graphs, the sine function had a maximum value of 1 
and a minimum value of negative 1. And this is what your sine function looked like. One cycle. Okay? This is negative 1 here and positive 1 here. So the maximum value for a sine is 1. This value that I just got, that's over 1. So this is not possible. That means that this angle does not exist. If you try in your calculator to find the inverse sine of 1.511, trying to find this angle, right, this would be my expression, the measure of angle B is equal to this. You will get, in on your calculator, you will get error or math error or some kind of message telling you that this is not possible to calculate. Why? Because it doesn't exist. So right here for this triangle, whenever you get a sign that's over 1, the value of 1, that tells you there is no triangle. Okay, there is no triangle. And what that means is, if you physically try to construct this triangle, with this side of length 10 and the angle between this side and this side 65 degrees. There is no way you will be able to construct uh, this side equal to 6. It will end up being too short. It will end up being too short it won't reach, this side here won't reach this other side, so the angle will not complete itself with these measurements. That's what it means. So these values that we're given are not valid values for to create a triangle, and that's what it means. So there you have that first thing that can happen when you have side-side angle triangles, okay? On the next video, we're going to go and see when we don't have any problems, okay? But we still need to check some things. I'll see you in the next video.